everyone, welcome back to daytime. If you have a robust dog, this is the segment for you. Best dog on diet, Dr. Brian Lang is here. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you. A pleasure to have you here. We should first and for, uh, foremost point out, you are a vet. Yes. You are a trained professional when it comes to understanding canines. Yeah. And when it comes to the dogs out there, a lot of them are overweight and the owners don't even realize it. That's right. There's studies that show that 42% of dogs are overweight. Um, and what's shocking is only one in three people that own an overweight dog realize that he's overweight. Now how do you test to see, can you, for me, I feel my dog and if mm -hmm. I can feel her ribs, I think she's fine. That's but one a of the lot best of dogs, you can't feel their ribs. Yeah, most people recognize an obese dog, yeah. um, but it's the overweight part that, that they have trouble with. And so the rib is, ribs are one of, should feel like a washboard effect when you feel them. When you look down on your dog, the ribs should be wider than the waist, there should, and it goes out at the head. Right. So that's what we call a waist. When you look at them from the side, there's an abdominal tuck. So there's the sternum here of the chest, and it goes up. And that's a tuck. I think what happens to most people is they assume that if their dog is a little hearty, that it's healthy, and that it might be Rubenesque. muscle. Rubenesque. Rubenesque, if you will. <laughs> um, you have developed an app which will help uh, dog owners understand where their dog stands. Tell me about the development of your app. I've been developing it for two years, and, and basically it came about because I do these calculations every day in, in practice to help people figure out how much to feed their dogs, because there's a, a number of big problems. Um, if you go by what's on the food bag, um, it invariably is too much. So mm -hmm. people don't realize that, that um, if they just feed what's on the bag, often they'll end up with a fat dog. Yeah. So let's take a look. This is the front page of your app. Yes. And um, let's get, go through it with us, how it works. Um, what happens is when you add a dog, so you would hit add pet, mm -hmm. um, you select it, you can, with an iPhone you can take a picture of your dog and then you enter in their name, breed, age, um, sex, whether they're, this is interesting, I'll talk about that in a second, whether they're um, neutered or not, because mm -hmm. in times they're fixed, um, light activity, um, all those things will determine what formula it will use for your dog. And then there's a slider, um, which is sort of a, um, you move a uh, thing back and forth. If we go through a few more, I'll sh it'll come up. Okay. And by looking at the profile of the different dogs, you choose what matches your dog, right. and it will assign you your dog to either weight loss or maintenance. Yes. And then based on that, um, you choose your food. There's over 2,000 foods in the app for you to choose from that are out there. Like hot dogs and ice cream? No. No, <laughs> I, I, I think this brings up an important point. Let's stay in this picture for a second, because we had a conversation, and you were telling me that treats sometimes are the equivalent of what? Yeah, a whole this meal is, can be, right? Oh, even worse. This, this is really interesting. This is an, for an 80-pound dog, so chose a lab. If you feed him this treat, okay, it's equivalent to me going out and having a chili cheese dog, a large root beer, not diet, yeah. and follow it up with a banana split. No And that's kidding. not my meal. That's just as a snack. Right. right? And then you wonder why And you why see people who just give a treat over and over and over again mm -hmm. just to have the dog behave, yeah. right? Smaller dogs, of course, it's even worse. A little dog, I did a calculation, two little biscuits are equivalent to a T-bone steak, fully loaded mashed potato, and a crispy cream Oh donut. my goodness. When it's, you talk about it like that, yeah. I, mm -hmm. I would never have that's thought That's one of the biggest that. reasons, and people yeah. don't realize. And so in the app, you put in not only just your food, yeah. you also choose what how many calories of treats you're giving a day, and then it will tell you how much to feed your dog and how much you should expect it to lose every two weeks. And then by weekly weigh-ins, it monitors that. If your dog's not lose, you should ideally aim for 1.25% weight loss a week. Mm. If the dog's not losing in that range, it will either up the food or decrease the food to maintain it in that safe target weight loss. We have a, this is what's the, this right here? This is interesting. This is, you can see light maintenance, healthy maintenance, and active maintenance. Those are three formulas I lose for, are used for determining how much to feed your dog. The top two lines, the bottom one is weight loss. The top two are ones that I took off dog food bags. Hmm. So that's what your dog food bag is recommending compared to what you actually should be, should be giving. And that's the now, other as a veterinarian, you have people coming in with their dogs, and when you tell them, listen, your dog is... Chunky. Oh, chunky, needs to lose weight. What's the first reaction people give actually, you? Actually, you know what? Most of it's pretty good. You know, yeah. you'd expect, especially where it's a little tricky if you get a really fat person, um, yes. and you tell them their dog's fat, yeah. and then you go into, there were studies that, and this is what really affected me. I used to think that first lab picture that we shot, so yeah. I actually took that off a website advertising, you know, a healthy benefit, animal. Yeah. 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 and it's overweight. Yeah. Because a little bit chubby lab is what most people think is normal, and the yeah. actual proper ones, people who have their dog in perfect weight are often been told by the friends, your dog's too skinny. Yeah. And, and so 
um, it, it, it becomes a real problem. And when you tell them some of the health things, here it is. Yeah, yeah. this so that's dog. A chubby see, lab. you don't have an abdominal tuck. If you felt his ribs, they're they're too much. And this is actually on a website showing the benefits of the breed, like the standard of the breed. Um, but what they did studies on labs, and they found that being just a little overweight, so this sort of dog, yeah. not obese, just this type, will live two years less than ideal weight. And that's 14 They'll years have, and human years. Yeah, yeah, it's like. 75 to 88 sort of thing. Right. Um, it's absolutely insane. I, I mean, they'll get arthritis sooner. Um, that six years sooner, arthritis starts. So, so if I'm you kidding. lose two years off your life as a dog, how many years is that in human? Twelve. Twelve, Twelve. years. It's, yeah. it's if you would normally live to 75, it means you'd go to 87 instead. That's but I mean, huge. The yeah. So when you're talking life. to a fat, per, like a fat owner with a fat dog, you know, you're telling mm -hmm. them about this, but it also what's well, the biggest thing it affected me? I'm thinking, geez, I'm I'm overweight. I got to fix this. Yeah. Now, exercise, you said, doesn't necessarily fix the issue because if you're feet overfeeding, yeah. no amount of exercise is going to get We all know that. Like you, yeah. you need a donut and you've got to spend an hour on the treadmill, right? Yes. So, for people at home who are watching, if you have an iPhone, where do they go? iTunes? The iTunes store and you look for best dog on diet. Beautiful. And we're giving away 10 free, 10 apps, free apps today. Yeah. So write into daytime YR at Rogers TV.com. We'll talk about it at the end of the show as well. Coming up next, we are talking more social media. Social media, that's right. Okay, right, we'll be right back.